Welcome back, friends. Today, we're going to learn all about African wildlife. Today's book is from the Cat in the Hat's Learning Library. The title is Safari So Good by Bonnie Worth, illustrated by Aristides Ruiz and Joe Machu. I'm the Cat in the Hat. Pack your bag. Come with me. We're going to Africa on safari. Pack your sunglasses and your sun hat. Remember your camera. Do not forget that. You've got front row seats and my animal viewer, the truck we will take on our African tour. In the African game park, we will be getting the chance to see wildlife in a natural setting. But here is a fact I will tell you today. Animals are predators or else they're prey. Predators hunt weaker animals to munch. Prey tries hard not to be predators lunch. Off to the river, we will go first. Here, animals come to quench their thirst. Look at those warthogs, trip trot over there. Mom, dad, and piglets with tails in the air. African buffalo graze where it is wet. Their horns have the look of a sturdy helmet. Grass, 90 pounds, a hippo eats nightly. Are the babies called calves? Yes, you have guessed rightly. A hippo's skin can burn in the sun rays. Mud and water protect her, so that's where she stays. Let's move on to the lions with their tawny hides. They live all together in groups known as prides. A cub has brown spots from his tail to his ear. At three months of age, all those spots disappear. Lions like sleeping for most of the day. Their roars rattle windows from miles away. I'll name a cat that one rarely sees. That cat is the leopard who hangs out in trees. A leopard's black spots come in very neat sets of circular patterns that are called rosettes. She stalks, runs, and leaps to hunt down her prey. She hunts in the night and she sleeps in the day. The cheetah is covered with sleek spotted fur. The cheetah can't roar, but oh, can she purr. With long and strong legs, the cheetah has power to run up to 70 miles an hour. Cheetahs run fast, and here is the scoop. Cubs sometimes play soccer with elephant poop. Speaking of elephants, here's the word. 50 or so can be in one herd. Male elephants can grow to 11 feet high and weigh over 10 tons. Hello there, big guy. Calves walk from day one and have some body hair, which soon all rubs off due to life's wear and tear. The whole herd will circle and sound the alarm and crowd round the young ones to keep them from harm. The elephant's tusks are tools, as you see, for scraping up roots or the bark off a tree. They also will use their tusk in a fight, and they tend to favor the left or the right. And just as one hand of yours is the stronger, one of the elephant's tusks can be longer. The trunk is the elephant's very long nose, which can lift heavy things or spray like a hose. Or pick up one single blade of green grass, or black like a tuba that's made out of brass. Two kinds of rhinos? Oh, you are so right. One is called black, the other is called white. But both rhinos are gray in Dick's camera sight, so how do we tell the black from the white? A white rhino's lips are wide like a bow. He nibbles at grass, his head hanging low. A black rhino's lips are agile. With these, he reaches out to crop low leaves from the trees. Is that oxpecker bird hitching a ride? No, she's eating the ticks on the white rhino's hide. The zebra belongs to the horse family. Those stripes tend to make her quite tricky to see. They all look alike, but please bear this in mind. Each zebra has stripes that are one of a kind. Zebras rarely lie down and sleep on the ground. They sleep standing up. Predators might be around. And here is a question to stump you, all right? Are they white with black stripes or else black striped with white? At birth, giraffes drop six feet to the ground. In minutes, they're standing and looking around. All giraffes forage, it is plain to see. 
Here is one with her head in an acacia tree. Her 18-inch tongue and her tough, spongy lips help her to eat the leaves' sharp, thorny tips. Giraffes have big eyes with long lashes that bat at the dust and the grit and the bugs and all that. With strong legs and hoofs and a good bit of trying, they can often outrun a lioness or a lion. Baboons band together in big roving groups. They hunt, eat, and sleep in these bands we call troops. Baboons have sharp teeth and they walk on all fours. They eat plants and meat, so they are omnivores. Baboons are big pickers of each other's fur. They pick till they find every tick, flea, or burr. Grooming is the word that we use when we mean to describe how baboons pick to keep themselves clean. When danger is looming, baboons shout, Wahoo! This means go away. We are not kidding you. Safari's so good. Let's find a campsite where we'll pitch our tent and stay for the night. The dog over there is a side striped jackal. He welcomes his mate with a loud howling cackle. The Galago's eyes, when they catch the light, glow green like a cat's in the dark of the night. The spotted hyena goes looking to eat. The dead are the dying, a scavenger's treat. Scavengers are those who live for a taste of leftovers that might otherwise go to waste. In the wee morning hours, herds of antelope roam. Over 20 kinds call Mother Africa home. We have just enough time to look at a few, so I'll pick out some different kinds to show you. Eland is the largest. It measures six feet. The royal antelope? 10 inches petite. And don't miss the sight, whatever you do, of the twirly horn, handsome, greater kudu. Impalas are smaller. Here's how to ID them. Stripes on their rear ends form a bold letter M. A head like an ox and a mane like a horse. A beard like a goat. A wildebeest, of course. Let's find just one more antelope if we are able. The bashful, soft-coated, sickle-horned sable. All of these antelope can run fast, and so the fast will survive, not as often the slow. Our safari is ending, but for goodness sakes, let's stop for one look at my two favorite snakes. This mighty rock python squeezes its prey. Snakes called constrictors behave in this way. The carpet viper is a small snake that everyone heeds. Its fangs inject poison. It lurks in the weeds. Safari so good. Home again, like a shot. Just look at the great photographs that we got. Which ones are your favorites? Which turned out the best? Some turned out fuzzy, but we'll save the rest. My number one favorite? Oh, take a wild guess. If you said the lions... I'd have to say yes. <laughs>